Alright. Giving benefits to boosters can encourage new users to boost your server, and can even cause them to retain their boost for longer. So given that boosting your server helps you out, I think they deserve something in return. Alright, for a bit of context, a while back I made a video on how to improve your Discord server and one of the tips was to reward boosters for boosting your server. And in the sequel of that video, I went into more detail about one of the perks you can give them. But this time around, I'm going to be compiling my favourite list of booster perks that you can choose from to reward your supporters. Before we start, some tips may require you to manually give boosters a separate booster role than the one Discord automatically assigns them. This will be necessary to create reaction roles exclusive to boosters, and one of my tips is going to go into that, because you cannot do this with the pre-generated role. Anyway, if that sounds good, let's get into it. Let boosters create their own custom role, the custom name and custom colour. You'll be setting it up, but they'll tell you how to design it. You can set this as the highest role, so that the colour will affect their name in chat. Let boosters add an emoji of their choice. Don't give them the permission to manage your emojis, you'll add it yourself, but they'll just tell you which one they want. Change the booster role periodically. For example, change your name and the colour every week. Do you spend a lot of time working on new channels? I know I do. Consider letting boosters access these channels early while you work on them so they know about them before anyone else does. Give them early insider knowledge regarding upcoming events in your server. Hold giveaways exclusive to boosters, but try not to let this lower the value of your public giveaways. Allow boosters to use text to speech. This may be annoying for members, said, but there you have it. Guy it's all up to you, Guy of said what? Guy said what do you mean shut up? Guy said Create a text channel exclusive to boosters. Create a voice chat exclusive to boosters. Make boosters hoisted so that they will appear above default members, people who aren't boosting, in the user sidebar. Prepare stage channels to hold an event that only boosters can access. This could be some Q&A, some game event, or whatever you want. Bear in mind your server will need to be set to a community server to create this. Exclusive name colour roles. These can be picked by the user to change their name colour and chat using reaction roles. If you already have some reaction role colours set up, you can make these ones more saturated than the default ones. Remember, this must be done with a separate booster role. And that's it. There are more tips that I considered including, such as the ability for boosters to use emojis from other servers, but I discarded this idea because I believe Nitro users who haven't boosted should be able to use these emojis. After all, it's a reason people buy Nitro, and denying them this is somewhat unfair. I know a lot of servers have this boosting benefit, but be careful and fair with this idea. And here's a bonus tip, the most important one. Try not to lower the quality of your server for non-boosters. Adding extra perks is nice, but always keep in mind that you don't want to make your server pay to win. It's like microtransactions in a game. You don't want to lock basic features behind the paywall and require them to boost to get access to them. Remember, booster perks can be an incentive for people to boost your server, but don't make it a requirement to get access to basic features. After all, you want to encourage people to boost your server, not leave it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and leave any video ideas in the comments below. And until the next one, see you next time.